So I always like to mention that blockchain is just a tool, like everything else, and it's not a magic solution to anything. But but essentially, uh, blockchain, um, if you think if you want to think about it, maybe the simplest sense. Uh, uh, is uh, is a new type of protocol in this in the same way that the internet was a new type of protocol. So w the difference between the internet and blockchain, in, in a way, is that so with with the internet, let's take for example email, right? Uh, 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 with email, I send you an email, you own a copy, I own a copy, right? Yeah. So the internet really was uh, uh, sort of a fantastic thing that uh, e essentially enabled the free flow of information, right? Now, with things of value, if I send you money, I can't have a copy. And so that's why we've always had uh, uh, sort of institutions in the middle that validate a transaction or validate some type, something of value. So a government can validate you know, a piece of property, a bank yeah. can validate if money was sort of transferred, right? And so blockchain was created really to, to sort of begin to solve some of these issues. So it's about the free flowing of, of value, right, and creating a, a, and really a, a system that is essentially creating transparency and trust when it comes to the free, sort of free flowing value. of value. And transactions. And, uh, uh, and so essentially how we utilize it here is as I mentioned uh, before, where um, each time there's a transaction, uh, um, um, that information is stored on the blockchain. So with the blockchain, the most important one of, or at least one of the more important elements, if you are utilizing it, is to make sure that the first source, the first bit of information, is as pure as you can get it. So that's why I mentioned once a property is uh, registered or due diligence is done. So once the government, you know, has given that certified, sort of certified yeah. certification, exactly, that's when we put it on the blockchain, mm. because then you know that the information is is sort of pure. So that's that's how we utilize yeah. it here. Yeah. Uh, in the future, uh, once we have all that information, yeah. it'll then make it much more easier to search for information yeah. uh, uh, and and be sort of be sure that that information is is pure, right? Uh, uh, from there. And so, uh, for now, it's more so used as a, as a sort of a database yeah, to ensure that the information is transparent and, and trustworthy. In the future, it'll 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 sort of enable us a bit more when we are utilizing it for other means as well in terms of searching and making sure that uh, 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 there's consensus uh, when it comes to like understanding who owns what uh, what property and at what time. Yeah. So I guess it's also about population in terms of populating the system and yeah. using with all the transactions with more and more transactions.